Sarah missed the taste of her favorite candy. Creamy and chocolatey and salty. Every Easter a basket overflowing with it. Every Christmas a stocking bulging with it. But now, none of it. Mommy and Daddy said no more. Not ever. Not for a long time. Find something else, sweetie. There's other candies out there. She didn't want other candies. She still saw her friends at school with them every day, sneaking bites when the teacher didn't notice. What had she done that they hadn't? Was her spelling not good enough? Was she not taking good enough care of her goldfish? What had changed? They said she wouldn't understand. They were just bad now. Nobody in the family could have them anymore. If Sarah's teacher knew why, she had forgotten. A perfect mask score was awarded something more precious than gold. The golden foil of a perfect little cup. She saved it. And she savored it on the bus home. Taking slow, tiny bites. And hurriedly discarding all the crinkled evidence in a trash can before she got home. With the taste of the candy still fresh in her mouth, she bent down upon arriving home to give little baby Jojo a kiss on his big pale forehead. By the time mommy returned from the kitchen, alerted by Sarah's confused cries, his head was red and lumpy, then purple and hot in the car, and finally, gray and cold at the hospital. From that point on, Sarah was allowed to have peanuts again. Too bad she didn't want them anymore. <laughs>